Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I wanted to go over sniper rifles and their aiming devices. So we're gonna go over the iron sights with the Sentinel and longbow, as well as the one axes, two axes, and the ranger sight form and how to compensate for bullet drop. So first thing I'd recommend is getting Pathfinder set up with the zip line. It just makes it a whole lot easier to get different distances. And what I like to do is just measure distance by simply, you know, going where you, you think is a certain spot, pinging it out. And then whenever you look at it, it can tell you, okay, so 50 meters. All right. So at 50 meters, your sniper rifles are gonna be right on. So iron sights with longbow. Sentinel, no problem. All right, so out here at 100 meters, which is Enemy just spotted. about where the stairs are in the firing range. Back up just a little bit, there we go. So at 100, you wanna aim just above their head. You can barely see it, um, but that's a little bit too high. You wanna be just a little bit lower than that. And that's gonna land your headshots. Obviously, if you just aim for that, you're probably got a chance of getting it um, but it does have just a slight bit of drop sentinel all right now let's go ahead and take a look at our 1x optics not a whole lot of difference right the bullet drop doesn't change at all and you're you a better field of view with these optics so there really isn't a whole lot of different aim in terms of placement that you want to put. So now looking at our two X's, now we're actually be able to see our target a little bit better. So zooming in on that, again, like you can see, like that's its head. As soon as that health bar pops up, you know that you've touched the dummy. And so really, like as soon as that does that towards the head, I wish I grabbed a sniper stock because I'm actually pulling down right now, but it's, it's moving around. So as soon as it touches that, that's where you want to blast that round. 2x, same thing. So at 100 yards, just putting the tip of that arrow that's right in the middle there, right on the head. Ooh, see, look at that. I didn't quite do it high enough and that was like so that red spot is in the middle of the face so if i had to guess i'd probably hit that guy's neck so i'm going to go up just a little bit more all right guys apologize about the cut there i forgot that i did not do the 3x at this distance so just to make sure i'm at 100 yards there we go hit 3x so as we talked about we're just putting the reticle on the dummy's head. Maybe just a little bit above it. Remember the red part is actually their face. And so you might not get a headshot if you're always aiming at the red parts. Just right about there. Nice solid hit, right? Not a whole lot to it. Just right at the tippy top of their head. And we're good. All right, and just so there's no, you know, second guessing or anything, if you hit the very center of these targets, you'll hit like a headshot, that 140. So if we use these targets as we're, we're going to have to to get further ranges, um, that's just to let you know that, yes, it's, it's not a problem. The diamond ones on the side don't count. It's only if you hit the very center there in the middle. So with that being understood, let's head back up there. And for 200 yards, this spot um, seems to be the best and easiest to get to. It's right on top of this post, which is like that post, except in this corner. And then the target you want to be aiming for is that guy over there. It puts you 192 meters, which is pretty close. Um, it's hard to get 200 exactly, but all intents and purposes, this should give you a good idea. Now, especially once we're out at this range, like you notice how steady my gun is. That's because I'm using the purple stock and purple stabilizer. I highly recommend starting with those if you're trying to do this and then down, working your way down because um, it, you'll see if you take those off, it's just wobbling and then you're not building confidence, right? More practical and you should practice that, but for gaining confidence and like, yep, I know where my guns are shooting. This is how I'd recommend it. Of course, 
there's so much variability here. I mean, it's with an iron sight. I know there's pro shooters. I probably can do this all day long, but again, just a little bit. Anyway, so right about there. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's move on to the sights because that stuff. These really don't help all that much. That's kind of the nice thing about this site is if you look at this site, the dot is smaller than your, um, well, what do they call it? Uh, not ACOG, that's the actual one. Um, HCOG, that's right. So HCOG dot, it's kind of, kind of big. Great for close distance. This one I kind of do prefer for longer distance because that dot at least seems smaller. Let's see if I can get this. There it is, okay. So I put that in the same place as we discussed before. Moving up to two X's. Two X's are kind of tough because the target is actually hidden by the um, the cursor there. So I have a little bit of a hard time doing it like in game because you're hiding the target, which is a good thing. Like if you're hiding the target, it's, yeah, it's positive. But when I'm out here in the practice, uh, I try and put the tip of the reticle right in line with those two small ones. And then if you center that up, that will give you your proper uh, height on it. Then you just gotta make sure your side to side is good. Let's try that same spot. I can't. There it is. And switching sh sights shouldn't matter. They should have approximately. The reason that they should approximately have the same drop is it's the same ammo. Going to the 3x here. Right? It's not changing the aim at all, it's just easier to see. I suppose I should switch guns too, huh? And if you want an easier count, I like doing it from irons up because that makes me, I think it makes me a better shot. But you could always start with the 3x take these shots so you really learn in your mind's eye what you're looking for oh. and then you can work your way down and that will uh, potentially help you out as well your four and like i said your uh, your point of aim doesn't change at all it's just what does it look like in all these different sites at this point thinking, you know, if you look at how much of a distance there is between the middle dot of your cursor and that two. So to give you some perspective on what that looks like, right? So pretty much the distance between the center cursor and the two is about the height of a head. And so if you're between one and two, theoretically, you should be able to make that shot just putting it there. That's only 116, 112. So I would much more just go dead on at like 112. 300 yards. All right, so I've got another video with like the longest ranges in the firing range, which was from season 12. So I don't know if it's going to change with 14 around the corner. But as you can see, there's some targets out there. Now that's right at about 300 if you're going to use a higher magnification to learn how to aim, right? So I can see that the three line is right in the center of that target. Look how high my center line is, right? It's, you know, I don't know, just above the target. That's gonna be really hard to estimate with, um, you know, a one or two X probably, but let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can do here. Um. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Like, you can barely see that target at all. Uh, that's like the target, and let's see. All right. Good. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not even going to try, because <laughs> that was just too good to leave. All right, same thing. So it's the same point of aim, like right up there, maybe. And let's try that. really for me anyway most of the challenge here is just seeing the target move right in there there we go um really hard to tell on these targets because that stupid little fog is coming in 
Mark has 380 yards because the firing range can't do anything evenly, which is fine because you won't have them exactly at 400 yards in game either. So over in this corner, looking over here, again, using one of these sniper rifles or sniper scopes to be able to kind of cheat on this first one, 380 yards, we're gonna be just shy of the 400. So let's see if that There we go, okay. So translating that over to a 3X, it's gonna be tough a fair ways up above the target there we go. so see the circle that's on my reticle itself point to it now and just at the base of the little diamond piece that's over there and that should put us that's really just a touch high there it is and that should put us in that spot That's a tough one to describe. You're just gonna have to feel that one out. It's, you know, maybe half to two thirds of the way down that chevron. This guy, right about there. Thanks for watching the video, guys. So what we were trying to do is see what different distances and bullet drops look like through different optics with your sniper rifles um, to be able to make those headshots. So then the step after this is being able to hit those low probability shots. I do have a video already on that. I'll have it up in the top corner here and in the description. And those two videos should really help set you up for success in this upcoming season 14. Uh, with that, I would just ask and conclude that, you know, I recognize that I would not always use some of these lower optics with these sniper rifles. But again, if all you get is a 2x, that's all you get. You got to be able to use it. And so this is to give you the best chance with it. Obviously preferable is some of these higher variable scopes, um, but they give you the marks right on them. So we didn't spend a lot of time on those. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content and learned something, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.